U.S. Army paratroopers with the 101st Airborne Division fly into a remote district of eastern Paktika province, bordering Pakistan. Bermel District is a key battleground in a new NATO plan for securing Afghanistan, ten years after the U.S.-led invasion. Traditionally, the Taliban launches new attacks every spring after spending the winter across the border in Pakistan. The Taliban spring offensive means more improvised explosive devices and more combat. This year, NATO hopes to seize the initiative by deploying thousands of reinforcements along the Taliban supply lines, especially in Burmel and other border districts. The Burmel interdiction began with the April Reconnaissance Patrol by the 101st Airborne Army paratroopers, led by Captain Chris Tanner. This is a standard reconnaissance mission uh, in northern Burmel along a uh, historic infill route uh, from Pakistan uh, that is uh, the uh, terrain is very inaccessible, uh, so we're going in there to uh, see what it looks like uh, to develop it for future clearing operations. In Burmel, the paratroopers spend hours tracking suspected Taliban and mapping their fighting positions. The Taliban respond with sporadic rocket fire. The Americans fire mortars in response. The two-day patrol ends with no casualties on either side, though six Americans died a few days earlier in a similar assault in neighboring Kunar province. The Burmel mission gives Tanner reason to hope. We receive historically a lot of uh, indirect artillery and rocket fire. Um, if we can uh, get that to uh, de that no those numbers to uh, decrease, and then uh, also the amount of uh, ID making material that we see moving farther into Afghanistan, it all crosses the border here. Um, so if we can interdict those uh, supplies, uh, that has a significant impact on uh, uh, on. Uh, insurgent activities throughout the uh, region. The bigger issue is whether NATO can sustain its counteroffensive and retain the initiative. The U.S. is scheduled to begin withdrawing a small portion of its 100,000 troops from Afghanistan in July. David Axe for VOA News, Paktika.